Now, hello everyone. Due to you have chosen the topic, I think this is the very second most important topic in artificial intelligence, that is the deep learning. And when we are going to do with the deep learning, actually you cannot segregate deep learning, machine learning, artificial intelligence separately, but each and everything is being connected with each other. But today we specifically chosen the deep learning uh, because it is one of the very core component of the artificial intelligence and which is using some special technique called neural network and today we are going to discuss certain things about it because uh, at this particular level it is not very easy and it is not also very much comprehensive for each and everybody to understand deep learning but let's start a very introductory step and thanks so let's go for it now when i am going to deal with a deep learning component let's check the hierarchy now if you check it properly the deep learning is the part of the neural network because whenever you have chosen the technology or it is not basically only technology but it is one type of approach which is going to filter and progression of thought process and algorithm in such a way which is going to have the weighted input based output then you can choose a, some biological uh, scenario in that then you can choose it's a deep learning and when you're going to choose the deep learning and neural network the, actually this is a part of machine learning how does machine recognizes a pattern or the model and based on it it is going to do something or generate certain type of output or it is going to suggest something based on its perceptions and it is going to have a pattern recognition tool so deep learning with neural network actually is a part of machine language machine is learning something and uh, without much more human intervention so that it can generate certain things based on the environmental input in the latter period of time and both the neural network as well as the machine learning again a part of the ai so whenever you dealing with the artificial intelligence or ai machine learning neural network and deep learning are connected with each other but at the very one point deep learning is a part or it can be say that it is nested within a machine learning so let us state about it so this is hierarchy now what is uh, deep learning in a very basic statement you can call it that deep learning is a type of machine learning that runs input through a biologically inspired neural network architecture now biologically inspired that stands for that we never going to deal with a normal stimulation from the external world our neuron receptors those are going to accept those stimulations and those things are being passed from one neuron to the other neuron and ultimately the things are being ultimately goes to brain for its recognition part and whatever is to be done that is being understood the same type of concept is being followed in the deep learning where whenever you going to get the external stimulations or stimulus from external input that perceptions to be recognized at the ultimate point or you better to say at the last point or end point through different layers through different layers something like a different set of neurons tagged with one each another it is going to be transferred of your stimulation is starting from the receptors to the ultimate thing at the other end it is being passed on similarly through different layers the learning of machines can happen so that the perceptions or the external input is going to induce certain perceptions in the ultimate output producing i think i am very clear about it that whenever you are going to get the some biological inspired model something the neuron works in our normal uh, human category or in nervous system the same thing is being taken granted or that structure is being followed for using the deep learning thought process in ai now let's deal with certain chronological things now one russian soviet mathematician alexei ivanenko his contribution actually in introducing revolutionizing the functional neural network and another neuroscientist john hopkins recorded neural network model now these two things in a chronological manner has actually revolutionizes as well as induce a certain big things in the deep learning that a neural network structure can also be taken granted and it can also be taken as a process for better understanding of machine learning and how the perceptions can be taken from the basic receptor as stimulus and through different hidden layers the things can be scanned screened and ultimately we are going to have certain output 
the next thing we are going to have is how does it is going to work and how what are the things that can happen then in neural network what are the things are actually going to happen the data is processed allowing the machines to go to the deep in its learning obviously because you are having a layered structure tagged one channel with the other and just like the neural network works and they are going to give deep into the learning making connections and waiting input for the best results now these are different layers which is going to scan and it is going to uh, actually going to induce a proper vivid perceptions at it ultimate layer the things are actually going to work i think the concept is very much prominent and when you want to get into it you can find it out that the layers are there one is input layer actually this is nothing but the very starting point of the receptor then through different layers you are going to have an output so whenever you are being given a scattered image of 6 7 8 or 9 you simply what do you do you simply find it out the ultimately what type of pattern is being actually being done it is something like the capture so why the capture things are being given now you just have to identify the what are the digits then what do you do you already having the image of 7 so you try to find it out what are the pixels are going to tell you whether it is being justifiable that the pattern looks like a 7 if the maximum trend is going towards the common appearance of 7 we say okay 7 and then we type a 7 in the capture so the recognition of structure or certain models which is being actually being taken care as a elimination process through different layers we say okay we are getting deep into the learning through different layers just to get the weighted output so that things are going to happen so this is called a deep learning neural network structure and in that case what are you going to have now we are just going to have certain examples i think this is at the very introductory level this is uh, the thing whatever you can identify justify that how the neural network is going to induce certain uh, creative or uh, revolutions in the field of ai now let's start with certain basic applications of deep learning across the industries you can find it with celebrate driving curves news aggregation and fraud news detections you can find it out what are the patterns are being followed whether those are authentic or not then the speech recognition part natural language processing it is something like that virtual assistance most of the cases in customer care something or sometimes it is better to say the things or suggestions are actually not coming from human beings there are certain chatbots are being providing their own perceptions based on the given input so virtual assistants are the entertainment are there visual recognitions are there i think i have already told you that capture type of things whether the patterns are being followed certain things are and whenever we're going to find out an image identification of a image by a machine is something different so it is they are going to have the layered elimination of undue or untrained data just to get to the better solutions then fraud detection is there then whenever you going to go for the mri in the healthcare you can find it out this is nothing but a certain applications type of deep learning now let's find out certain things for you uh, at the very basic level you don't have to go very deep into the deep learning part so i'm just going to give you certain assignment or better to say just for the better understanding so whenever you're going to browse the net please get certain data about it that can you trace the uses of deep learning in the medical sciences if you find it out or i have already mentioned one then whenever you're going to find out the something more please collect the data and get ready for the rest now thank you have a nice day stay fit stay healthy and please wait for our next topic it is going to begin certain things, some extended thing about the AI and thank you.